So today we're going to talk about the Int Blue Vegeta, and I think that Int Blue Vegeta worked relatively well during the meta they came out during, that being the leader skill slash Dokkan of that meta, because A, he led a solid demigod lead, that being Int to 100% the stats, B, he did immense while gaining 50% attack for 3 turns, so each time he came back on rotation after those 3 turns of losing his attack, he would easily just build it back up immediately, and C, this guy was a passive attack debuffer that started out with a 100% attack, this 100% attack is really, really Really nice for this guy and during that offensive meta that was quite good so taking a look at this team of course shout out to the person that posted this video i think your name is zen roto i'm gonna go ahead and bring your channel up on screen real quick so shout out to this guy and i think that this team is actually pretty nasty because he has double buhans as the godly three key and seven percent of the stats to uh, to friend support and the leader of course and he was running the blue vegeta right next to the spirit bomb sword trunks which is not a bad rotation because they're sharing four links super saiyan royal lineage prepare for battle and fierce battle which is very good and the fact that he was running multiple orb changers of course that being the spirit bomb sword trunks that being the super saiyan goku and that being the android 13 is really really crazy what's going on guys it's your boy dev back with another one of these dokkan battle videos today we're going to talk about the int blue vegeta i think this is a very straight to the point character because what he is doing is uh, offense and offense back in 2017 was the meta and i think he was doing offense quite well because if you take a look at his kit he gains a 50 percent attack for three turns so each time this guy was building up his attack and coming back on rotation after those three turns after losing that attack this guy would just build it back up again and he started out with a hundred percent attack which is really really good for january of 2017 so this guy's offense was actually quite good now as for this team build I saw on YouTube, of course, shout out to the person. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name. I'm pretty sure your name is Zenrado, Zenrodo. I'm so sorry. But of course, I'm going to link this video down below as a source that I use in this video. But this team is actually pretty good. Because if you take a look at what he was going for, he bought three orb changers. He bought the Spear Bombs or Trunks. He bought that Super Saiyan Goku. And he brought that 13. If I remember correctly, because I pulled up everybody on the team, 13 is a orb changer. Where's 13? There he is. 13 is an orb changer from uh, Tech to Rainbow Key Spirits, which is definitely nice and can help out the team. He ran Injinemba right next to the Buhan because Injinemba is sharing multiple links with Buhan, right? They're sharing big bad bosses. They're sharing shocking speed. They're sharing metamorphosis. They're sharing quite a few links with one another. So I'm pretty sure that they were being ran right next to each other on this team. And as for the Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks, he was creating his own key spears as well as sharing four links with this guy. So these two as a rotation on the uh, dual god lead of in Buhan was actually quite nasty. I think this team worked pretty well so i think int blue vegeta back in 2017 was working pretty goddamn good let's go ahead and look at attack stat on this video on him so i went ahead and skipped to the part where this guy's getting his first attack with his best linkage partner on this team of course that being the int spirit bomb sword trunks and we have double orb changers on this rotation that ssj goku changes orbs from agl to int and that spirit bomb sword trunks changes str to int so you have one that changes str to int and one that changes agl to int and this guy's getting how many int orbs i just want to do this as a reference in this video that is uh, that's five that is uh, six wait hold on, let me see how many collects first okay that's six that is 12 he's getting 12 in orbs on his rotation so if i remember correctly 12 times 15 is like 180 I, I believe I'm not that great at math, but I believe it's 180 because this guy's getting 15% attack per ink key spear obtained. So if I'm correct, he's getting 180% attack from collecting those 12 ink key spears. This is a nasty turn. Let's go and just see how this plays out. <laughs> hopefully he doesn't do too much damage to him like nah, maybe i'm just over i'm i'm more saying this trunks right okay so wow this trunks does a 722 000 attack stat wow that's what 12 in key spears on the field okay and this vegeta starts out with 278 000. okay well that's not that bad considering that's his first turn of him doing an attack let's go ahead and skip on over to another turn so we can see how much damage he's doing when he has his attack build up on that next turn and he does 318 
Hmm. Why do I feel like this Vegeta could do so much better? It's like he starts out with 100% attack. And uh, he can raise his attack by 50% for that turn. That's good. So this guy gets his EZA during the Legendary Goku event meta. And I think that his EZA is quite good in there. Because he's able to build up his attack and the events for 3 turns. So he can be defensively sound throughout the entire event. Can he take a super attack from UI Goku? Probably not. But I think that he can be fine on normals. Maybe I'm overrating him, but I think this guy could be a pretty solid option for the Legendary Goku, considering that he can build up his attack and defense for multiple turns and keep building it up each time he comes back on rotation. Now, one thing I like about this guy is the fact that they didn't start him out with a attack and defensive buff. They just started him out with a attack buff, but technically you could say that he started him out with a defensive buff because he does give himself 50% defense from his Aroma Gods category ally support. So he basically starts out with 120% attack and 50% defense at the start. I wish I was 120% attack and defense, but hey, to each his own. Let's go and take a look at how many 200% leader skills that he's on. So this guy is on five 200% leader skills, and I think that is quite good considering the amount of category teams that he's on. Because he is on the 200% leader skill for the RF Blues, the 200% leader skill for Manja Vegeta, the 200% leader skill for the uh, Sha La Kid Gohan, as well as both the uh, Power Awakening Piccolo and the uh, Ultimate Gohan 200% leader skill, which is definitely really, really nice to see. So what is good about this guy? I think what's good about this guy pre easy is the fact that he is a solid demigod lead to in, of course, 100% of the stats. And the fact that he was able to do damage during a damage-based meta was actually quite good. Although he was only at 300k, I think that was a passable attack stat because he was still technically doing damage to that Vegeta. And this guy is a attack debuffer to extreme class enemies, provided he is going up against extreme class enemies. Now, in the video that I shown you guys, that was an extreme class enemy, so their attack wasn't being being lowered but this guy could be able to work relatively well when going against those stream class enemies anyways because he would be passively attack debuffing starting out with 100% attack and building up his attack each time he attacks so what is good about this guy post EZA is the fact that he is a passive debuffer that has a 50% chance to stun extreme class enemies for one turn when he super attacks them which is really really powerful for battle road and the fact that they made this 50% attack and defense for three turns made it so good for the legendary Goku event although he possibly cannot take a super attack from in UI Goku, I think this guy could still be passable with normal attacks. And uh, another thing is the fact that he is a Roma God support type unit of 50% to defense now what is bad about this guy now i'm not going to say anything that's too much of a big issue about this guy pretty easy but the one thing i do want to point out is the fact that him only sitting at around 300k on his second super attack with no support with one of his best linking partners that being the spear bomb sword trunks is a little bit weird i expect this guy to hit 400k but 300k is a solid attack so i can't act like it's not i expect it a little bit more out of him but i do think that that is a okay attack stat for sure 300k is good i'm not gonna act like it's not but i was looking for like 400k maybe 450k because he does build up his attack by 50 percent for three turns so i was expecting a little bit more out of him i wish he just hit like slightly harder for his meta just for him to be like a bit of a nasty option hey why not? Maybe if he was like, instead of take this attack debuff away from him, make him like 100% attack and give super class allies 3 key. <laughs> he would be so disgusting. That would be crazy. Now, what is bad about him post EZA? The only thing I do not like about him post EZA is the fact that he didn't start out with 120% defense with his 120% attack. Technically, he has 50% defense, but that's not enough. They relied too heavy on you getting this 50% attack and defense raise for three turns on a super attack effect, but that is really all there is to say about this Vegeta. He fit perfectly in his meta. I'm not going to act like he didn't. That 300k attack stat is, that's good. That is good. I'm, not, I'm just not going to act like it's not. It's just that Trunks attack stack. That's 700k attack stack, but just blew me away. But I think that is really about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I will catch you guys in the next video. I love you all. Peace.